All right. Thank you, everybody. I um, uh, I call this uh, hearing to order at 6.15 on Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. Um, the owners of the uh, dog named Shadow uh, of 40 Craybox Street have been informed by mail that a complaint was filed on uh, in mid-July, I forget the exact date, alleging uh, that their dog is a dangerous dog. Kelly, is that? Alleging that the dog had attacked more than oh. one person and is frequently roaming the neighborhood. All right, that the dog has attacked multiple people and has been roaming the neighborhood. Um, uh, so that everyone understands the, uh, uh, this is our first dog hearing, so this is our, uh, we're working our way through the process, so please bear with us. It's not something we do every day, like a, uh, every week, like a uh, select board meeting. Uh, let's see. Uh, per Mass General Law, we are required to uh, investigate when we receive a complaint like this. Um, the purpose of this hearing is to uh, conduct the investigation um, and to allow um, all interested parties to uh, speak towards their knowledge of and experience with the animal. Uh, let's see. Everyone, the complainant, the owner, and the uh, dog and the animal control officer have been notified of the hearing. Um, uh, during the hearing. Uh, I ask that all comments be addressed to the board. Um, uh, there will not, I do not want there to be crosstalk amongst people. It's like we're not going to, I don't want people getting into argument. Uh, I also ask everyone to uh, please limit themselves to the, uh, to the facts of the matter. Um, opinions are, are nice, but we need to deal with facts, not necessarily um, what you think of a particular breed or the, uh, the, uh, the nature of the other person who's giving testimony. All right, so I will ask everyone who is uh, here and is planning to uh, testify. Uh, let's see, do we need them to stand up or? Well, they need to identify themselves, state their name. All right, um, would, uh, would everyone who is here planning to testify please stand up so that we can. Testify again, so. Uh, uh, to, to, to talk towards the dog. Point. So it's like if you're, if you're gonna talk in defense of your dog, you're gonna be testifying. Um, thank you. All right, so, no, no, wait, wait, wait. We need your names. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> All right, uh, so we need, uh, could, uh, could, what's your name? Alyssa Hayes Rollins. Alyssa Hayes Rollins. All right, and your name? Richard Rollins. Richard. Uh, let's see, uh, Cassie, I know who you are. And uh, let's see, we'll give Officer Panero a moment to come in. He will be testifying. <laughs> Could you please stay standing? We're gonna, oh. You're going to have to take yeah. a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Work in progress? <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, let's see. And uh, Chris, do you have, um, are you intending to testify tonight? Um, do you have experience with the animal? Okay, that's fine. It's not a problem. I just wanted to know because we're swearing in the uh, witnesses. All right. And uh, we have the uh, dog owner. So, And I apologize. What is your name? I, Jennifer Jen Anderson. Thank you, Jennifer. Proud dog owner. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So um, I will ask um, everyone intending to testify, um, please raise your right hand and uh, respond yes. Uh, do you solemnly, sincerely, and truly declare and affirm that the testimony that you are about to offer is true? Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. All right. So um, we are. Uh, you may see it now. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> All right, um, we're, uh, we're going to start with the uh, complainant, who is um, Cassie Buffum, the animal control officer. Cassie, would you join us, please? Uh, yes. Do you have a copy of your report? Would it's you like to phone. read it? Unless you have a paper. Yeah. I do. That you have better. Okay. Thank you. Do you want me to read the whole thing? Uh, let's see. Actually, what I would like you to do is, uh, Jennifer, have you seen a copy of Cassie's report? All right, um, would you give her that so that she has a copy for herself? I, I have read it and I can look on Brad's if I need to refresh myself. Um, no, I, I can look on Brad's right now. All right. Uh, so, uh, Cassie, I don't think we need you to read your report, but I, uh, could, you, could you summarize the, uh, the relevant points for us? Um, there was a bite incident in July that Bites don't usually go to me, they usually go to the um, animal inspector who does the rabies quarantines. Um, there was an incident with Officer Panero um, and he, it made him uncomfortable. I have been on enough calls with him to know 
that he knows he's not afraid of dogs, you know. Um, Shadow was loose right after that incident with Officer Pinero. I've gotten a couple of other calls. I've never picked him up. He's always back in by the time I get there, but there have been, a, I don't have the exact dates. I'm not good. Um, there was concern that he may be a little stronger than his owner, unfortunately, because okay. he's a big guy. All right, when, when you say there was concern, can you give us a little more detail? Like, whose concern was it? Officer Pinero's. Okay, thank you. Um, and he's just, he doesn't stay in his yard as much as he should. There, I don't know what I'm allowed to, I don't want to. You're giving evidence about your experience with the dog, so just take a breath and tell us what's happening with the dog. That's all I got to do. All right, I'll try. Okay. Yeah. I don't do this stuff. This is why I work with animals. I just, <laughs> just breathe, it's just breathe. It's all good. Um, I've gotten, like I said, a couple of calls, quite a Consistently, every few weeks or month, there'd be a call that, excuse me, Shadow was loose. Again, by the time I got there, he was always back in or not in my sight. There was um, a bite previous to my taking over as animal control um, involving a minor, and that is worrisome. I believe the minor belonged, not belonged, owned, was part owner of Shadow, and that makes me a little nervous knowing dogs the way I do and, and the training that I have with them. And I think that's, I think that's about it. Okay, so you have other things in the report that you, you have suggestions? You have I have recommendations. Recommendations, so that's part of your, that's part of your effort. Okay, all right. Um, I think a trainer could help. I mean, definitely getting him evaluated to make sure that he's not just completely aggressive and this is more of a adrenaline-based thing and training can always help. Um, a strong and secure enclosure that he cannot escape, a fenced-in yard that's, you know, like I said, not a snow fence or anything that he can get right out of. Um, and for people to just, like we are, let them know so that they can be aware. I just try to make people aware to, their surroundings. Yeah. Kelly, are we allowed to ask questions of, of testimony? This is an evidentiary All right. Hearing. Thank you. Yeah. All right, um, Cassie, um, you mentioned that there was a that you received uh, uh, multiple calls about shadow running loose in the neighborhood. Yes. Um, is that uh, do you often get calls about loose animals in the in a neighborhood? Not usually consistently. Usually it happens one time, you know, someone opened a door that wasn't supposed to and somebody booked it. It doesn't usually happen consistently. And when it happens consistently, it gets more and more worrisome, especially with the bike history. Mm -hmm. So that's what made me nervous. Okay. And do you guys have any questions? I, I know I have one or two more. I just have to think them through. Okay, so I'm just going through your report, so I'm just going to ask some questions uh, relative to that. So it looks like uh, the documented bite incident was 72822. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and at that time, the bite was reported, but um, there was that would have been reported to the animal agent, and was that reported? Was that prior I to did get the like, original dispatch call, and then I reached out to the animal inspector, and he went over and did the quarantine, and okay. he does that stuff. Okay. Was that Mr. Thompson? That I was going to say, and that was Mr. Thompson before he had retired or whatever okay. he did. Okay. And then, um, so, and then there was a service call to the residents, and at the time, the dog was threatening to the officer and there was a concern that the person on premises didn't actually have control of the dog. So when they sit, when, yes. and I don't know, is Officer Panera officer here? Yeah. Okay, so I'll save the questions for you because I'd, yeah, I'd I like to. Yeah, I can speak on my, on my okay, is it, do we wait until they? No, they wait until he's up here. Okay, so I'll wait until you're up there because I've got some Unless specific you questions. Right to recall the witness, but I don't think we need to get that. No, I, I don't think we do either. Um, and then, Let's see here. Um, and, and you said that 
you don't have every single date documented, but in the last six months, do you know approximately how many calls you've had about Shadow being off his premises? Four to five. Four to five. Okay, so not quite monthly. But no, not that's, not. that's still significant. Uh, he's not very good at reading the calendar on his day. Fair enough. So, um, and then it sounds like your recommendation at a minimum is that. Um, so up to this point, right, so we're at the hearing, the hearing's currently open, you said it's advisable to ensure that Shadow is securely restrained and not allowed to roam freely outside the property. Isn't that the core of the bylaws? They shouldn't be roaming freely yes. outside the property. And, and our bylaw allows for like a dog to be loose if they're on voice control, but the voice control needs to be equivalent of a six foot lead. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. If you can't control your dog or, or be sure you can control your dog at all times, then you have to be able to reach that. No whole state. Right. Right. Um, and then um, you have recommendations for professional evaluation. I would Is there anything, any other facts pertinent to this conversation that you don't think are contained in your written report? I don't think so. I think I made sure I put everything in okay. that I could contribute. Okay, great. Thank you. Is that um, that's all just, I have. Uh, just just follow up. Uh, Brad, do you have a question? No. All right. Just so, so that I understand that there are, we have a record of two bite incidents. Um, one involving a family member of the animal and one involving uh, another member of the public and that would probably I believe that was in July of uh, 22 okay one yeah yeah one of them and the other one was prior to me taking over and I took over in March 22 so. okay but, yeah but I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to determine the history of the animal not necessarily the history of the animal just while you were in your position no, yeah that's what I'm saying then. yeah but so but we but, so we know so we know of two bite incidents with the animal and then and then Officer Pinero will uh, testify to his experience with yes. the animal. Okay. Uh, I just want to make sure I had everything straight. Thank you. Um, I don't think I have anything more. All right. Thank you, Cassie. Jennifer, would you come up, please? First of all, Cassie, nice to meet you because we've never met. You've never been to my house before seeing my dog. Uh, Jennifer, oh, wait, Jennifer wait. Would, whoa, whoa, you, would you please, one, would you please come up here, and two, please direct your comments to the board, not to the other witnesses or the other people. You may make your points, but you will make them possible. He's in because he doesn't blog the others. He hasn't done anything in a long time, so I don't understand. The only thing he did was when the officer came to the house at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, he... Bob like most dogs too, but he's a pit bull, so he's not, and he's on the deck behind the gate. I don't understand why he had to pull his gun. He was on, we have a fence in porch. Mm -hmm. How high is the fence? It, he can put his paws on it. So but it three feet, four feet? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not I don't know what the, I, no. about, can you show me just? Probably like this high. All right, mm -hmm. three and a half. It's like, I've never so you say you can put his paws on it. It's like that's a different he height fence. Stand up. Yeah, a chihuahua he's is going to have a lower. He's never jumped fence. over it in okay. two and a half years. He's never jumped off. He's full grown now. He's never jumped off. Mm -hmm. but, um. So he does more things. Uh, he's doing what a god dog does. And he's on my property, and he has an electronic collar. He has not run out of the yard that I'm aware of in a long time. I you, I keep him on a leash now. Everything people complain about, I do. But I mean, it doesn't matter that their dog bit their neighbor and seriously uh, hold injured. On. We are talking about your dog here. We are the other dogs. If you have a complaint about another dog, you no, will hold it, a hearing about that. It's relevant to what I'm talking it is, about. It is not relevant. It is because they're suing us, and we have no money is, because uh, there's a lien on our house. We're moving, first of all. Hold on, hold on. The lawsuit is not relevant to this hearing. This is a hearing about Shadow and about Shadow being a dangerous animal. We have a complaint and we are talking to that. I don't. If you would let me finish. It's relevant because our money is tied up. We need to sell the house so we can 
do anything. We can't do anything right now. I can't buy a new collar. I can't get his trainer back. He has been about three quarters trained, but we ran out of money. That's why we're selling our house. We can't sell it till this is over. And he is the sweetest dog. There are people here that will testify to that. He means no harm. What, he, what happened with my daughter was an accident because she was giving him treats and then she decided to go down on the ground with him and he misunderstood. She, we would have gotten rid of him. That was like the scariest thing to us. She begged her, she said, it was an accident, mommy didn't mean to do it, he wasn't being aggressive. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> let me address the best one because this is disgusting. So, um, the neighbor that he bit, first of all, she was very high on medication. It's she wasn't well, supposed well, to well, be well, 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 This is not a personal this, thing. This, yes, Stop! This is, this, excuse okay. me, excuse me. Both of you stop. You will, you, you will, you will, no, no, you will address me. Stop, stop, stop. Get involved your, in this? Your opinion as to what medication should, if, unless you have a medical report that says that, it Actually is not relevant and it is not admissible. So, if you, if you believe that her behavior is inappropriate, you will speak to her behavior. We will not talk about the medication taken by other people. Okay. Are we clear? I'm just saying, all I know is... No, 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 we are not just saying. We are sticking all to right. the facts. So, she just decided in the middle of the night to walk over and come out of the darkness right in front of us. He didn't know what it was and he just lunged. Because right before that, he'd been looking at something in the woods. Was so this person just, on your property? Yes. Everything has been on my property. He hasn't gone out of the yard anymore. He used to. He just is so friendly. He wants to go visit everyone. And it's just ridiculous. These people used to be my friends, and they know him. They know him. These were accidents. He never meant to be vicious. And he, even when he was talking at the office, he was wagging his tail. He bops, he's just trying to get attention. He want, he loves people, he loves kids. And I am going to get him retained, and I am going to get a, another caller. And the time he didn't have his caller and I couldn't restrain him was because I, I take it off here and there because it's so hot and I wash it off and let him breathe a little. Mm -hmm. And then he had to go to the bathroom so bad, I forgot to put it on quickly. And I didn't expect, he was just driving by and sorry, he was in my yard though. He drove by and then he turned around and came back. And Oops. then he's sitting there. So Shadow's going ballistic. He wants to know who this is. He's just standing there, like in his who are we talking about right now? The officer. Oh, that's thank you. complaining. And I've tried to tell him I I don't know what to do. I all those suggestions I'm planning on doing. But we're getting we're trying to move and I don't understand why this is coming up now because been so long since he did anything. Those four reports, he has not gotten out of the yard four times in the past six months. Mm -hmm. That is not true. There's a lot of false information in that report. And I, and I can she, only tell you what reports we received. And also in the lawsuit, they claimed originally that she was just walking down the street. I'm, that was a lie. I'm they had it amended. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The other, the other witnesses will have a chance to, uh, to make their testimony. I, I do not appreciate you accusing someone of lying when they haven't even spoken in it this. It was amended, because they did. It's in writing. That's not an accusation. The lawsuit that is, is not, excuse me, the lawsuit is not in evidence here. We will not talk to the lawsuit again. Do you understand? Yep. Thank you. Do you have anything else What to else would you like me to address? Anyone want me to address anything else? Hmm? No, it's so. You have a uh, you have a uh, a uh, one of those um, electronic fen electronic perimeter type oh, collars. The shock collar. Yeah. That, so thank you. That's I never even have to use the shock because if I just buzz the buzzer, hmm? he stops what he's doing. Hmm? He has since we started training him with that. He doesn't go out the yard. It just I dropped it in water last week, and it hasn't been working. So I have to get a new one. They're at like two hundred bucks. I'm getting a new one though, but he still hasn't been going out of the yard. Sometimes he like wanders right off the edge, and I just say, "Hey," and he gets back in the yard. Hmm? It's like I, even when he sees people that he wants to 
wants to see that you stop love him and pat him and hang out with him, he doesn't go running up to them unless they come in and are talking to us. And then he's just hyper. He's mm -hmm. still a baby. And he's just How really... How old is the dog? Well, two and a half. So he, he he's just a little more than a puppy. But mm -hmm. he, well, they're not full grown until they're three. Oh, it's three? Yeah, so then he's still a puppy. Mm -hmm. And he's the most he's loving thing, like... If any of us get a boo-boo, he has to lick it. Like, he falls around trying to lick it to clean it. And and because apparently they have some enzyme in them that helps. Mm -hmm. But he's just the sweetest thing. And he's so attached to me that I can barely do anything. And I love him. And I just, I don't know. I, I'll do whatever I have to. But mm -hmm. I don't understand. I don't understand how people that used to be my friends can just be so, mm, I don't even know what the word for it is. Okay. Right. Does anyone have any other questions? So you, you said you currently have an electric fence, but you're planning on putting not, some other sort of fence. It's not the fence, it's the collar, the shock collar. Uh -huh. I have a remote, so okay. if I take him out, if he does anything he's not supposed to, I use the remote, but I'm, I barely have ever even had to use the shock call. Okay. So do you currently have any plans to fence the property that you're on currently or no? We're moving in, like, as soon as this lawsuit is finished, we're moving. That can so I'm not putting years. on giant Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah right? I was going to say. Uh, if, uh, that doesn't help in the interim. Yeah, I was going to no, say. It, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah. I can't build a fence. I can't eat. You can afford anything right now. Um, but I will get a call up again, and that works fine. He does, I never have to shock him because the buzz thing scares him enough. He turns around and stops doing what he's doing right away and just comes and sits next to him. He has been mostly trained, but we couldn't afford another session. We just ran ourselves under on the house, and so. We split up, and now that's what making us um, yeah. We split up, so it's a lot more, um, yeah. lot more money, and and we have to leave the house we love. Jennifer. Yeah. Right. Would you like a moment before I ask my next question? Okay. Um, I just want to know, are there, how many other animals are in your neighborhood that are, that resemble Shadow? Are there any? There's a boxer mm -hmm. and a giant Mamadou, whatever they are. Whatever mm -hmm. ma giant, and, that's yeah, the that's one the, that's big. Yeah, a Great Dane, I'm guessing, like, like the comic strip character, a Mamadou. There's a Mamadou, a okay. Golden Retriever, okay. a Rottweiler. <laughs> mm-hmm. But, but, uh, like it. Oh. Nope. I know I understand, uh, and the, 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 what I'm what I'm asking about is um, we've um, the animal control officers testified that there have been reports of shadow being off out off of your yard or out of your property, and you uh, and you have stated that you are uh, uh, convinced that he has not left the yard, and so and and so and the reason and so they conflict, and what I'm trying to understand is are there other animals in the neighborhood that would look like shadow and could be confused for him, and it, it sounds like there aren't. Okay. Well, the kind of does, but he doesn't leave. He's a sweetheart. And, okay. Um, I don't know. He yeah, has somehow at some point, but once or twice. But I'm sure he did go out of the yard once or twice in those, but not four times. And he hasn't done every time there's an incident, and we punish him, put him in his crate for a long time. Mm -hmm. He remembers that, and he starts doing that. He mm -hmm. seriously since. I punished him for something, and he was in his crate, and since then, he has been, like, so well-behaved. I don't mm -hmm. understand why people are just... Okay. The end. Okay. Uh, I the keep to myself now. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. The, uh, the shock collar. Yeah, is there is there a it, does it does it fire is there a perimeter wire around your property that causes the collar to fire automatically, or is it does it only fire when you activate it? 
when you activate it, but it's okay. broken, so yeah, I'm no. gonna get the fence no, for no, no. it because. No, that's fine. No, I was trying to understand. Was it a? It's like yeah, you I have, have those. I was wondering if it was one of those invisible oh, fence kind of, of things, but it's it's not. It's just a. It's a corrective tool when you need to let him know when he's doing something yeah. wrong, and you can just zap it's, him in the collar uh, manually. Yeah, it's alter okay. It's an alternative to having him get shot. I can right. just press the vibrate. Yeah, he he. Well, the, Beat. Yeah. And I barely have to shock him with a yelp. You know, no, I, no, I, I, I know people dodge and they, it's like they, they say that once the dog knows what the sound means, you keep doing that, you're going to get buzz, you're going to get zapped. They learn the beep is like, okay, better back up. No, I, I, I understand that. No, I, mostly I wanted to understand did, you, did your, pre, did, would your, would shadow experience a shock? If he got off property without you looking, and the answer to the question is no, because if it, you're, if he gets you're, too what you power. Have. He used to do that, and that probably Excuse last me? time I put he used to do that. He was so smart that he would wait till I wasn't looking and run on, around the back side of the pool because he loves someone he has husband mm -hmm. and their dog, and always wants to go see them, and he loves all the dogs. He goes mm -hmm. to some, their back door and wants to play with their dogs. He's just friendly and but yeah, he does that too. He's lonely. Mm -hmm. We've been okay. we've been no pets for a long time. And but he hasn't done that since the last time I punished him because every time I get one of these calls, my anxiety is just it's just ridiculous. I have stayed away. I don't understand why I'm still being punished but Mm -hmm. well, me. Well, and so I would I say we're, we're, we are the, the purpose of the hearing here is to make a determination and I would say no one's being punished yet it, but we need to decide if anything needs to be done in order to ensure the safety of the community that's that's the whole purpose here and my I'm and my opinion is we will do the minimum necessary to maintain the safety of the community so is quick, that so quick question through you miss yes mr. chair um, how how big is your yard, roughly? Um, an acre and a half, or an acre and a quarter. Okay. So, and is there an area more proximate to your house that if you weren't fencing the whole space that might be more amenable to putting Sometimes up something secure? Sometimes I put him in the pool area so he can run on. Because he needs, that's the thing, he, he needs to get a run it. And, and, and your pool area is fenced? Yeah, but... With the shot collar, I tell him to do crazy puppy, and he runs around the house as fast as he can. And that's the thing with a pit bull. You've got to let them run around. You can't have a pit bull in a little apartment. And we're moving, and I don't know where I'm going, so I probably have to get rid of him anybody. <coughs> so this all just makes it hot. Okay. We're going to be gone soon. I don't understand. I'm just leaving so alone. I've left everyone alone. Just Thank you, Jennifer. If there's any, if there's anything else, we can come back to it. Yeah. Um, next, I'd I'd like to uh, ask Office Panera to come up, uh, just in the interest of if you get called out, we want to take advantage of you being here with us now. Yep. And uh, thank you, Officer Panera. Could you uh, could you uh, tell us? Um, Describe your interactions with Shadow in your duty as a police officer. I've had two interactions, um, one fairly minor and the other a little more involved. First interaction, I responded to the house for an, a, a service call in related to the animal. It was around 1.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, it appeared that I woke Jennifer up and had to have, you know, I woke her up and the daughter w was woken also, so they were a little, they weren't fully prepared of why I even arrived at the household. Mm -hmm. um, in that incident, when I knocked on the door, the shadow came to the door and I've been bitten on duty already. Um, so I know to take precautions. I stepped back, opened the small gate, closed it um, in case the dog got loose. It was a very big dog, uh, I would estimate it probably weighs maybe somewhere between 80 to 100 pounds. I don't know if that's... In the 90s. In the, in the 90s. Yep. So it was just barking, doing nothing different than what my dog would normally do. Um, if somebody unfamiliar came to the household, 
Yeah. Barking so she, from inside the house. Yeah, barking from inside the house. Mm-hmm. Um, so I called Jennifer out, you know, as she was opening the door. Um, Shadow just pushed that door right open. Mm-hmm. And it, as, as I saw, it was lunging at me. I just stepped back, but given the nature of uh, how close it got to me, I did draw my weapon in a low ready position. Um, I immediately saw that it was not going to leave the enclosed uh, porch area. I holstered mm-hmm. my weapon immediately. She gained control of that animal. Um, and then I proceeded with the service call. Uh, it ended just as fast as I described it. And the second interaction I had with the animal was I drove by and I did see the animal running across her property. Um, and just as a precaution, I just let her know, hey, let's keep that dog on a leash. And when the dog got aware, became aware of my presence, it became defensive, started barking. And she said, hey, you know, apologize. Didn't have the uh, shock collar on it. And I was like, all right, let's keep it on a leash. And I just kept it moving. Um, didn't warrant any kind of report other than a dispatch log. Mm-hmm. And when you say the uh, dog was uh, the entire time was on uh, Jennifer's property yeah, it was on, at that it was, on her, it was on her property. Yeah, you just, you just saw the, the dog. You saw the dog unrestrained on the it property. Was, it and was unrestrained, unleashed on the property, and mm-hmm. um, you know, giving my recent interaction with that animal, mm-hmm. I just felt like hey, yeah, I just wanted to reassure that it was that it was you know leashed or uh, the, the owner had control of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it. It didn't appear aggressive until I approached the household. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, just just to note that mm-hmm. it seems that um, my interactions with that animal opened up um, some unaddressed situation that happened with the animal because it seems like there was some turnover in uh, the animal inspector and the animal uh, control officer. They were new hires now, so it seems like the si- the situation was supposed to be addressed in the same fashion mm-hmm. as being addressed now, but because of my interactions with the animal, it got brought up as something that was unaddressed and now needs to be addressed now. So it may mm-hmm. seem untimely and outdated, it's because it's, it seems like it's something that was supposed to be addressed during the uh, staff turnover. Yeah, the um, the police reports I've seen uh, support that. They, they yep. indicate that some people intended to uh, bring this up last summer, yep. and it didn't. Do we have these copies of these reports that you're referencing? I, I believe they're. I believe they're in here. I, uh, one moment. Uh, yeah, Beth. Um, okay. They're in the package. Got it. Yeah, they're in the package. Yep. So, um, uh, Jennifer, do you have a uh, do you have a question uh, through me, please? I was gonna say, if this was last month, isn't there a statute of limitation on not on dog the report? Uh, Not there. Not dog I, so no. ten years and now you can know. Oh, mm. the dog could be dead, and you can just say, "Oh, he bit someone," and that's what happened. I don't. Mm. I don't understand I'll, why this just comes we'll, up. Well, if that yeah. if that yeah, comes yeah. up, we'll deal with it when it comes up. But right now, we're we're dealing with the facts at hand here, and so, and then. Uh, so it, all of your interactions with this animal I've were in the last, yeah, yeah, and yeah. So both of you, yeah. both of your interactions with this animal um, were at, within the last um, thirty days. Is that correct? I'll say the first interaction with this animal, right. with Shadow, yep, was uh, on the seventh of July. Yeah, so just almost thirty days. Ago. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. And the second interaction was more of a precautionary. It wasn't a service call and nobody complained. It's just simply mm-hmm. me passing by. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I, I would, yeah, you, you observed the dog yep. in a certain state, but the, uh, and it was, in your point, in, it was on our property. Yeah, you, you did nothing about the dog's, nothing about the dog's behavior at that time caused you concern. It was your, uh, no, I'm it, sorry, it, I'm putting words in your mouth. Was there what, anything what I, about the dog's concern at that time no, that made you worry? No, it was, okay. it was simply something that I do to mm-hmm. any resident mm-hmm. in Brookfield when I see an unleashed dog. Like, hey, make sure that dog's leashed. Okay. That's it. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, does anyone have any questions? No. Okay. No, there's no, I mean, technically there's no requirement for a dog to be leashed on their own property. So if they're on the confines of the owner's property, they're not in violation of any statute that I'm aware of. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Beth? Brad, anything else for Officer Panero? No. All right.
Thank you, Officer Pinero. I'll be at the station. If you guys need me, just knock on the door. All right, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. And let's see, the dock officer has already spoken. Um, is the animal inspector here? The current one is. The current one, okay. Yeah. Do you, um, do you have any uh, testimony to give in this hearing, or are you here for informational purposes? Informational. All right, thank you. Yep. All right, then. Uh, then uh, all right, so uh, at this point in the testimony, we will uh, take testimony from interested parties. Uh, so we'll just start here. If you would, um, I believe, Alyssa? Okay. And Alyssa, would you uh, state your full name and then uh, tell us about your experiences with Shadow? Alyssa Hayes Rollins. Um, I've known Shadow since he was a puppy. Um, never did I expect I would be bitten by him. Um, for clarification, I was not on a bunch of medication um, as alligated. Um, it was June 25th. I'm sorry. I'm very panicky right now. Um, June 25th, 2022, it was about 8.30 at night. My six-year-old at the time was catching fireflies and wanted to go see if the daughter of the dog owner, who they were friends with, we were all friends, um, wanted to catch fireflies too. When we walked up the road and walked around the corner onto the property, as we had done many, many times in the past, um, uh, the other owner was outside. Miss Anderson was not outside when this happened. The um, Mr. Yancey tried to call Shadow, but Shadow charged and he double latched um, bit me. I had 10 stitches in my elbow and three stitches in my arm. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what happened. Okay. Um, when you came on, and so you were uh, uh, going, you were going to the um, to the Yanceys. Um, Jennifer, yeah. is your last name Yancey also? Ed Anderson. We were engaged. Oh, okay. The uh, the Yancey Anderson yeah. property. All right. Okay. When you when you were going to the uh, Yancey Anderson property, mm -hmm. um, uh, was it like? What was the ambient like? What would they land? It was like just day? beginning to get dark. Okay, so late dusk, sun had already yes. set, and it was that it time was where it's really get, it's really starting yeah, to get Yeah, when dim. the fireflies really start coming out, mm -hmm. and you know, that yeah. time. Okay. Yeah, the floodlight was on in the backyard, mm -hmm. and there, and Mr. Yancey was having a fire, and he was outside with um, Shadow, mm -hmm. and I came up the street, and I came around, and. You came around, so you came so up the street, came up and then the you street, came around the house. It came up, not around the house, but around the pool, in between the pool and the house, onto okay. the property, which I amended. I'm the one that amended that because they did say originally that I was on the road, which was incorrect. I walked into their yard as I normally would, and um, Shadow saw me, and he just like lunged. Mm -hmm. he, Mr. Yancey was not able to gain control of him. And um, I threw my arm back to block my son, and I got bit. Okay. So. That does not sound like a pleasant experience. No, okay. no. And um, the dog has, not recently, but has been in my yard multiple times, which we have video footage of. We have a camera outside the front of our house. Mm -hmm. um, I am, um, I'm afraid in my own neighborhood, because like I said, I never thought this dog would bite me, never, mm -hmm. never. Um, I don't walk on the street, um, my son does not take the school bus, there was a child that was bitten at the school bus by Shadow as well, um, that was the first bite that I am aware of. Um, so my son What was the rough timeline of that? It was winter of 21. Um, it was a little boy who was at the bus stop and was banned. Um, was that reported or documented anywhere? It was. She was. He was brought to the hospital, but I don't know the extent of that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, would you excuse me? Um, Cassie, uh, do you know if there would be as, um, actually, an uh, animal control officer, um, uh, could you, uh, if an, if someone were brought to the hospital with a uh, dog bite, um, what would be the uh, normal procedure to investigate that? Uh, they fill out a dog bite incident report, and then it gets either faxed to the police station or animal control officer, and then I get it, well, animal inspector would get it within a day. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So the so in that case, the uh, the report of the dog bite, they would take the location. The hospital would take the location of the dog bite and send a a report of the dog bite to the animal inspector uh, responsible for the location. In this case, it would have been Brookfield. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Through through you, Mr. Chair. Do you, do you have copies of any of the previous bite reports available no. to you in the records? I looked for them in the town hall. I couldn't find them. All right, and so the um, uh, uh, the uh, question of whether t records were found in town, town hall, the uh, answer was no. Just uh, for the for the people going by the audio, since you're so far away from the microphones, I wanted to repeat your answer so that Correct. people were yeah. people watching this at home could see because we're getting this on cable at some point. <laughs> All right, and then let's see. I'm just, I, I, Alyssa, I'm just, I'm trying to understand the physical layout of the uh, Yancey and An Anderson. I can't read my own writing. Anderson yes. property. So and so it's like it's it's on Quaybog Street. It's on Quaybog Street, but it's also like Chestnut Street. Is so it? here's okay. Quaybog. Here's Chestnut Street. Mm -hmm. um, the Yanceys live here. They're on the corner. And I'm down here. And you li and you live further up. Chestnut I live Street. further up. I okay. live on the corner of. Forest and Chestnut. Okay. So um, I was walking up to the house heading towards Quaybog Street. Mm -hmm. They have a pool and then there's a backyard and then there's the house. Mm -hmm. I walked in between the pool and the house and onto the yard. Okay. So the pool is, it's like, so you've got Quaybog Street, you get the, the house, the uh, bit of yard, and then the pool set mm -hmm. back with the open yard between it and the house. Yes. And so, and then you came along past the pool into the open yard yes. where the uh, where the uh, f where the family and shadow were at that time where mr. Yancey and shadow was at okay yep all right all right thank you that it I'm a visual person so it just helps no, me to understand okay. the layout because yeah. no, I'm trying to figure out if you like came through a narrow passageway and suddenly popped out no. where the dog or you came in through a more open area no it was the open area okay Thank you. It, so, quick question. Yeah. I mean, historically speaking, and um, how frequently did you and your your child tend to walk onto the owner's property? Very frequently. We were all friends. We were close. I mean, there was we were. Is it was that like the, every weekend? Is, and is that the path you would typically take that coming the onto their property? That is the path we take. We all we all took the same path. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Um, uh, uh, Jennifer, through me, please. I, yeah, I just wanted to say, am I allowed to speak to that? Um, you no, may ask no. questions of the witness uh, through me, no. but no. no? Oh, okay. She's no. not conducting okay. the hearing. You're right. Thank you. Hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Um, <laughs> it's um, if, if so. She, if you want to give her an opportunity to come back, Mark, the question, the the to address something, but I, she can't. They don't. The they don't cross examine. And Thank they you, Kelly. Can't question her. That wouldn't okay. be. That's that's fair. Um, uh, J Jennifer, if you if uh, if you would like, um, you can uh, provide additional testimony after everyone else has had a chance to, to speak. Okay. All right. And any does anyone else here on the board have a question? Nope. All right. All right. Thank you, Alyssa. All right. And then. Um, Richard, are you planning to testify? I mean, she pretty much covered everything I was going to say. But, okay. Um, um. Yeah, I mean, he bit. Name for the record? Oh, Richard Rollins. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yes. Um, um. He bit a small child at the bus stop. Okay. Well, were you were you there for that? I was not. Okay, so you've heard that that happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. I heard that he bit a small child at the bus stop. He bit my wife twice. Mm -hmm. I heard that he bit their child's face. Um, he's been in our yard several times since then. I have I have camera footage of it at the house of the dog in our yard. Mm -hmm. 
He's never on a leash. Never. I've never seen a dog on a leash. Not mm -hmm. once. Not a muzzle. I figure the least you can do after your dog starts biting people is keep uh, him on a leash. Can and put please, a, put a please stick on. to the facts rather than your opinion as to what we should do. I think that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that pretty much covers it. Okay. Would Would it be possible to get some of this camera footage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have that footage with you today? I do not have it with me, but I could. That would have been helpful. <laughs> but um, you can always take this under advisement to review the footage, yes. reopen the hearing at another date, and or do the de deliberation at another date. Yes, that is a... Uh, That's just an option. All right. So. Uh, thank you, Kelly. All right. We'll, all right we'll, we'll consider that. All right. A anything else for us, Richard? Uh, no. Okay. Thank you very much. Careful, they will. <laughs> Remember? Right. And I Is there anyone else that needed, wanted to give evidence? I believe that was everyone who planned to give evidence. Is, that, is there anyone else here who um, would like to give evidence to this matter? A hand of shadow. All right. Um, Jennifer, uh, you asked for another chance to speak. Um, if you would like to do that, please come up. Um, I'll, I'll ask, I'll remind you to uh, restrain yourself to matters of fact. Thank you. Um, first of all, the, the first incident, there was a new family in the neighborhood. I actually had them over for dinner. We put Chad on his crate, but he was curious. If he was being aggressive, he would have ripped that kid to shreds. All he did, is, I guess there's no record of it, because there was nothing. Not a mop. He bit his big, puffy winter coat. But he was just like, he was down on the ground. Shadow, if he wanted to, he would have killed him. He was just bogging him. He was just trying to say, who the hell are you people? He had mm -hmm. never seen them. Plus, my husband is African-American. They're all African-American. So something about that confused him. Something about it, uh, like it was the only other black person he had seen or something. Oh, and he was I, curious. I understand how that's relevant. But. Because it sparked his curiosity. He just mm. wondered who these people were in the neighborhood because he's protective. Yeah. Okay, but he did not actually... She kept showing me. I'm like, nothing there. The doctor even said there was nothing there. Mm -hmm. I don't understand that whole thing. But yeah, I was concerned after that. We... I think we, we got a, um, we started with just like a spray collar. Um, it sprays uh, citronella in his face. Mm -hmm. And that worked, but after the biting, after he bit Alyssa, we went to the shark collar. Mm -hmm. And like I said, in the night of that incident, I, I, I I don't think it's back that it was 8.30, but whatever. John was actually closing up camp. Everyone had gone home. I was in bringing everything in. We weren't expecting anyone else. Mm -hmm. And for the record, she had come that way many times. Mm -hmm. He had never attacked her. Obviously, he was. it was a situation I wasn't there. I wish John could be here. But it wasn't a situation he anyone expected for them to just come around the corner like that. It was like around the corner of my pool that I understand and mm -hmm. it just surprised them. I had just given them a bone too, so mm -hmm. I just, and I'm just, uh, honestly, mm -hmm. I can't speak to it. I can't speak to that. So, okay. so I, I do have a question. Um, relative to some of the training that you were talking about giving your dog, it sounds like in at least two of the incidents that there may have been food involved, both in the bite associated with your daughter and then if you had just given him a bone, oh. they can treat, you know, in a dog's... Yeah. I mean, I hate to put it this way, there's a, there's a, 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 a dog book, it's called... A, um, I can't even remember what the name of it is right now, but fundamentally, there's a there's a table in it that says what you think something is and what a dog thinks something is, and it has stuff like, you know, your couch, a toy, <laughs> right? Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a, you know, garbage, food, 
Right, you know, so if you had just given the dog a bone, does he have other incidents where he's defensive or protective or possessive of things like toys, food, anything like that? No, he, um, I give him bones, I play with them, like, I bring him, whenever I come home, I bring him, like, a treat or something, he goes looking for it. And right, so I you, play with them with me. Right, but if so. you put his bowl down and you pick his bowl back up again, are you going to get your hand back? No, because I mix things in. I mix it in while he's, while he's eating. He knows. I have been stricter and stricter every time an incident has occurred. And he is very well behaved now. And that was just the incident with my daughter. He wasn't being food aggressive. He just misunderstood. Because she got down eating like a dog and she had been giving him treats, so he didn't understand. Because we would have gotten, we were ready. My husband wanted to take him out back and shoot him after that, seriously. But she begged and cried. All she cared about in the hospital was Shadow and and her friend who had a dog bite on their face. And she was just so empathetic to that. And, mm -hmm. right. What caused the other child's dog bite? That, that was food aggression. They put him down. He had done it a couple times. She was eating pizza, and he wanted it. This was not the case with Shadow. And, sorry, I'm getting off, but, uh, and the incident, I don't think the dog bone had anything to do with that incident. And he just probably knew we were settling down. John was cleaning up. He's really smart. People are smart. They understand a lot of things. And he just didn't expect her to come out like that. I think it's a money issue, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right. It's All right. Well, money. So, uh, I don't think that the town, the, the purpose of this hearing is um, focused on the, uh, the safety of the town and the possible danger that shadow may apply. I don't, none of, uh, no, one he, no one on this side of the table has any interest in the outcome here other than our duty to the town. So, and I believe the, uh, the complainant, um, uh, Cassie, uh, is, she's also in that same situation as I understand it. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, I mean, the, uh, the lawsuit between you and your neighbors is uh, that, that is your business between you. All right. Uh, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, I'd like to ask about a question about the original post was about some gray dog near the park that ran out of the yard and attacked someone and then... No, it had nothing Are to do with Are you talking about the Facebook post recently? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, and I, then that just appeared and made it. But 40 Cray Bug Street. I'm like, I don't have a gray dog. He's brown. He's mm -hmm. lilac. Mm -hmm. And we don't live near the park. Yes. So Kate, my friend Katie actually sent it to me. She's like, is this about Shadow? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, come on. And I read it. And I'm like, the more I read it, I'm like, no, none of those things are relevant and we don't live near a park. He hasn't gone out so. and attacked someone who was walking their dog or something. I, may, I, I don't think anyone here believes that that incident that, that someone posted about on Facebook is involves Shadow. I've not, I, has that, does anyone here think that that's a, uh, re relevant to the matter at hand? No. Okay. I just no, wanted to know like why it was replaced with no, it wasn't what? replaced. It's it's I'm it happened. Able to find it, no, it I I don't know. I don't control that site, and also okay. Facebook is kind of notorious for showing you something and then hiding it. Is uh, I know I was like, ooh, that looks interesting, and then I refresh, and all of a sudden, where'd that post I want to look at go? Because they now I know they want to look at it, so they're gonna make me scroll, 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 scroll through all the crap on Facebook to try and find it. In my suspicion is that the um is that it's a coincidence that there was that something happened with a with in another part of town involving an animal an animal that's not shadow and it just happened at the same time and therefore it's like I have not seen anything to indicate that that triggered anything with regards to shadow I know that there, I saw the chatter on Facebook where people were saying are these related and uh, to my understanding no they are they are completely unrelated I don't understand why Hours was replaced the time. It just changed the time was for us, and it was just if just if someone in town would like if someone in town has a would like files a dangerous animal complaint against the animal involved in that, we will have a hearing for that too. 
Your shadow was not, there was no replacement between that incident and shadow. They're completely separate, and if we get a complaint, we will have another hearing, and we'll hear about that animal and its, and its, the danger it may present to the town. We will, we will handle it equally. I, prom I promise you that. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, if, yes. if I may, um, I'm the one who asked Facebook to post the notice of the hearing. I don't have Facebook. I saw nothing related to any other dog. I gave them the post. Our office gave them the original post. It didn't have enough detail on it so that people would know what the dog was. But at no time did the post that the town presented list the name of the dog, the color of the dog, or the breed of the dog. So whatever was on there was completely unrelated to what the town posted. No, I, my, my only reason the relevance is that all of a sudden, it was supposed to be this time here about that dog. Then all there of a was sudden, no no, other there was no this. This post. hearing was always about shadow. Yeah, that the, 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 the there has never been a hearing. We have never had any request for a dangerous animal hearing about an incident involving a dog elsewhere in town. This is the first one we've had in I in since I joined the board almost a year ago. And as I said, if someone po files complaint against another animal about uh, whether it's that incident or something else, we will have a hearing about that animal. Right. That wasn't. That first one just wasn't shadow. I don't no, I, I I understand your your concern that it, the it may be unfair, and I want to explain to you that we are trying very hard to be as as also, fair to you. As we possible. received the complaint back in June mm -hmm. because there was never a dog hearing done by this board. They needed a policy and a procedure on how to do this once the request came in, which was in June. So it had nothing to do with the post that you saw. They had their meeting the last week of June, and that following Monday or Tuesday, we posted um, the information. So all of this has been building and in in process since June. So that other Facebook issue had nothing, nothing to do with this. It was just a bizarre coincidence. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 hold on. Um, Richard, uh, do you have any uh, uh, facts at hand to uh, uh, relevant facts to the matter that you would like to share, or are you, or would you like video? I was able to find one of the videos that I did download one. I mean, it was from January. But... Okay. All right. Um, let's see. All right, Kelly, can is this just something he can show us on his phone? And well, he how can, do we do but this? it becomes part of the record, so we will need a copy of it. Yes. Um, and and yeah, he can he can show it to you, and just to be aware that it only speaks to the dog not being on its property at that time, and that the mm -hmm. owner is claiming that that is being rectified and it's happening less frequently. So, mm -hmm. okay. Because it's from January, just keep that in mind. The date of it. Please. Okay. This this is this video is dated January from January. Okay. Uh, uh, January twentieth. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Let the whole board get yeah, in can there. Yeah, can you, uh, okay. No, Beth came over. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, you can put it between the two of them and I'll just stand. Mm -hmm. And was that your dog walking through? Yep, those are okay. my two dogs right there, and I'm not shadow right there. Okay, uh, let's see, all right. My chest right there. All right, yep, um, let's see. Sorry. No, no worries, all right. Um, Cassie, would you recognize Shadow? Could, do you think you could recognize Shadow in the video? Okay. Um, Richard, uh, I'd say one second. Um, for, Officer Panero will recognize him. Yes. Could um, Karen, could you ask Officer Panero to come in here? And that, that way it's like, that way we can, because I... Uh, we, we can pause a moment while we get Officer Panero. Just my thinking is that it's like, I don't, I don't know the shadow i don't recognize him i've never met him and so i feel it would be best for uh for someone um in a more neutral to uh, confirm the identity of the dog um yes sharon are we running out of video we have eight minutes left i can either put in a new tape let's let's, um, let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do a let's, recess let's take let's take a uh 
Wait, let's 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 bring in Officer Panero and then we'll replace the tape. Um, right. Officer Panero, mm -hmm. um, the uh, Richard here has a video that he claims uh, shows Shadow, and I would like if you could uh, confirm whether that the dog in the video is Shadow or not. Okay. Determined okay. based off of a cell phone video. All right, I I I, I understand. So it's uh, for for you uh, you're not able. You say it is it resembles shadow, but you're not, you don't feel comfortable positively yeah, identifying a shadow. Is that a fair? Yeah, I'm not going to positively ID that. Okay, that's that's fine. Thank you. No, I I, I appreciate your uh, your your honesty and your willingness to say you, you it okay. doesn't quite work. We're out of money. Out of time. Okay. All right. Thank you, Officer Panero. Uh, so the, the dog owner be able to see the video as well? Mm -hmm. There's not enough time on the tape. Can we pause and we're retake and then? Yes. Okay. Uh, we are going to declare a. Uh, um, Sharon, how much time do you need? A maximum five minutes, probably less. Okay. Then I, I declare a five-minute recess for this hearing while Sharon replaces the um, the uh, video the video card for recording, um, and we will resume in five minutes. Thank you. <coughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. We are uh, returning from our recess on the hearing. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Time. Uh, at 7.23. Um, I will, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Richard, uh, could you please cue up the video again? Um, Jennifer, I believe you indicated a desire to uh, examine the video that he showed to us and to see if that was to uh, confirm for yourself whether the shadow is in the video. Yeah, I believe that going should. I'm sorry, what? I believe everyone should, as witnesses of this hearing, I mean, well, we want to know. Well, the, what is he doing? The He's going to okay. visit them. Okay. It, the, okay. Uh, like would, you, would you like to view the video and yeah. determine whether it's yet? Okay. And then, Richard, would you? It was on, like, the fine yeah. department. Mm-hmm. All right. What is any uh, or if that's even him? Yeah, that's like a dog. Yeah, it could be anyone. Well, just, he's he's not just so my ass. All right. Then uh, oh, nice. then, uh, so uh, then let the then then let let the record show that uh Jennifer was uh was not convinced that the uh dog in the video was shadow. It's like since she viewed it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um uh, Alyssa, do you have uh yes, questions? I just had I don't know if these are pictures of my my wounds from the bite. Okay. For evidence, I don't know if you wanted to see them. Um, if you have them, go ahead and say. I, I was going to say uh, uh, they they are relevant to the matter at hand, so we will accept them as evidence. But it's like, L -L -L all right. Are you offering these in as evidence, or are you yes. expecting to get them back? I'm um, offering them in. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank yeah. you. All right. Then we will need. All right. Do you want for your pile? I was gonna say. Um, we'll have Kelly hold on. Huh? Yeah, they're, they're 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 they'll be entered into evidence, so they're part of the public record of of this meeting. It's uh, though. Kelly, should we offer the uh, people a chance to look at that if they want, or is that no excessive? This is this, this is, is for us. For this is for us. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Um, does anyone have any further testimony to the matter at hand? All right. Seeing as there's none, um, I will uh, take a vote from the board to close the hearing portion of this. Um, uh, from this, uh, once we close the hearing portion, um, this will be a deliberation amongst the board members to decide what course of action to take. We will not take any more testimony, and we will not take any more input from the public. This is a deliberation. We will make our decision, and we will move forward from that. M Mr. Regan, can I ask a procedural question? Please. I want to get this right. Um, before we cl conclude the hearing, or if we're going to recess the hearing for time certain, or close the hearing for time certain and return for time certain for a del separate deliber deliberation, would it be appropriate to submit a motion regarding temporary restraint prior to um, uh, closing the public portion of this hearing at this time? 
Um, that is allowed I, under the law. It, it, it would be it would be appropriate. Uh, yes, I I think that's a, okay. an appropriate to consider. So, so, so sir, I would like to submit a motion. Okay. So so I'd like to submit a motion to close the hearing. Second. All right. Uh, let's see. And so and uh, this this motion, if passed, will close the re evidentiary portion of this hearing, um, and will. Um, at this point, we will then proceed to deliberation. Um, I, before we vote, um, Jennifer, you have a, what's your question? I just want to know, are we going to be able to view the footage anywhere? Is it going to be posted? The, or? Uh, yes, the footage um, will no, be... No, it won't be posted. It won't be posted? Why not? What are we going to do with it? You're going to view it, see if you can... Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. The oh, share. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the recording on the, of, of the... <laughs> yes, it, it should go be on YouTube as soon as it's... Um, Okay. possible to get it up there. Yes. Um, Kelly and uh, Karen. My apologies. I yes. misunderstood. Kelly and Karen, can you, uh, when when the video is, yeah, when the video is available, could you uh, please um, make sure that uh, Jennifer is notified that it's available since she's interested and just, just drop her a letter or something? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, so uh, returning to the matter at hand, um, the, uh, there is a uh, motion and a second to uh, close the hearing portion of tonight and to move to a uh, deliberation. Um, any further discussion? No. Nope. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 All right. We are now deliberating. What time yeah. did you close the hearing? Uh, at 7.28. Beth, do you have something in mind um, for, for moving forward in terms of our deliberation? Um, I think my thoughts are twofold. The first is that I think um, we've gotten some information, right? There's, there's some additional documentation or information that might be appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the things we need to discuss is are we making a decision tonight regarding classification of the animal or are we looking to um, reconvene at some point certain to do our deliberations? And if we were to re if we were to uh, reconvene at some point certain in the future, um, what if any um, temporary measures would we um, decide to impose? That's within our power, Kelly, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. It, it, I, so that's what you're getting yeah, at here. Yeah. Um, so, so what what, infor what information are we uh, are we looking to? Uh, so here's my. Here, what are we waiting for? So here's my concern, right? So, yes. um, the bites appear to have occurred on the individual's property. Okay. It, uh, with respect to, to Officer Panero. In my opinion, the dog was not necessarily acting in a manner that is inconsistent with the dog's rights on his own property. Dog's allowed to bark at a stranger that shows up at one thirty at the morning mm -hmm. on a person's property. I'm a little bit personally on the fence regarding the bite incident with the neighbor by virtue of the fact that there was it, it was disproportionate in my opinion to a person walking onto the property if that's a, a, a common occurrence, right? If nobody, like, quite frankly, nobody's, nobody's allowed to walk on my side yard and I, and I shoo people off of it. I don't care if I know you or don't know you. you get, if you're on my side yard, you get off of my property, particularly if the dogs are out. People want to walk out all the time and say, oh, let me say hello to the puppies. No. <laughs> okay. But that's not a standard that had been done by this property owner mm -hmm. and the individuals involved don't didn't I, I haven't heard any testimony either from the dog owner or the individual that they were a acting in a manner that should have precipitated a dog biting but and this I, was no nip but this was no nip right it was disproportionate to a known person walking onto the property in a known manner mm -hmm. um so I guess that's the question is are we are we ready to make a decision today to classify the animal or not? Is there any additional information that that you all would want relative to to that decision? 
I mean, I can't think of anything. It's just part of me. Part of me says, I mean, it would have been nice if we could have found the um, the old reports that the animal inspector referenced uh, that he looked for and couldn't find. It's like because since they do seem rel they do seem material yeah. to the matter at hand. Yeah, I, but, I would but agree. We don't, but we don't have them, and so. It's like, and I don't think we can just sit back and wait for them to, in the hope that they'll magically appear. So depending on the hospital. That's what I was thinking. We can, we can, we, not being me, um, because we, the, the town, the town can, mm -hmm. can um, seek out the dog bite records. The, mm -hmm. That would be public? Or yes. that would be something they would share? Well, they should have the record. Mm -hmm. They should have faxed it to the town in some manner, and they should have a record that they did that because mm -hmm. that's the law. They have to do that, right? So they have to notify the town. Um, vets also get copies of of uh, dog bites if they know who the veterinarian is. Mm -hmm. So there may be a way to trace it back depending on what hospital, but then we'd need to know what hospital the child went to and this is for a dog bite that happened in 2021. Yeah. Um, we don't have a record of who the child was. We don't have, um, so it, the odds are, are pretty slim unless we send out to Harrington. Do you have any dog bite incidents going back to? 2021 for Brookfield. Yeah, I would go back mm -hmm. to December of 2020. Mm -hmm. and see if they can forward us something. But that might be an avenue to pursue. Mm -hmm. and that's I don't know if, I, don't, I think the animal control, uh, the animal inspector can request that from the hospital. No. I was told the Board of Health could too. <clears throat> we don't want any of the personal details of the child, just the information as to whether or not there was any injury. Yeah, we we want a co we would not want another copy of the dog bite report, which would not contain medical information. It's something. It's basically another copy of what they were supposed to have sent us anyway, with the expectation that they probably did send it to us and maybe it got misplaced. I'm not going to bl blame them. Well, it may not. It, a lot of. Well, I'm not going to talk yeah. about what people do with the records in the past. Yeah. Right. Fair <laughs> enough. That's a very good point. So, yeah. um, however, even in the absence of that pattern, right, um, you know, I guess, what are you looking for? Are you looking I mean, for motion relative to, to nuisance or dangerous dog status? Just tonight um, and actions to... Yeah. I mean, I mean my, my instinct is that or my preference, all else equal, is that we come to a conclusion tonight, simply as a uh, courtesy to the town, and rather than making everyone come out again to, to hear us up here. If there is important, relevant information that we should wait for, I'm happy to wait for it. I'm just trying to figure out if the, it's like, is this, this bite report is one thing. Is there anything else out there that we might be looking to get our hands on before we uh, proceed to serious deliberation? Or is that the one thing you're thinking to get our, get a hand on? Yeah, I was mostly just wondering if we could get the, the records regarding the other bite incidences. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Um, the uh, a, a question that I have is that if there were a... If the result of the interaction between the child and the dog, specifically I'm talking in the uh, January 2021 incident, to which no one here uh, was, I don't think anyone here had first, first first hand, hand knowledge. Yeah, okay. It's like, it. the impression I got is that it may have been that the child's clothing was damaged, but that there was no bite, that there was no skin puncture, is, is, is possible. Right, and it's so it's basically hearsay. You have no police yeah. report. You have no live actual um, witnesses who can that have firsthand knowledge. Right. So but, it's hearsay. So yeah. unless but you want to seek yeah. out more information, then you shouldn't yeah. allow but my, it in. But my question is, if in, in the hypothetical, if a dog had a unfriendly interaction with a person, um, and but the person were not bit by the animal. Would there be a report like this, or is this only for a bite? It's only for a bite. 
Okay, so if the if a person does not have a bite wound from a dog, there would not be a bite report from the hospital where they That's were treated. That's not necessarily true. Okay, um, so help me understand. So if somebody is is bitten by a dog and they grab their clothes and tear their clothes, they may go to the hospital, mm -hmm. and then there would be a dog bite report, even though there was no injury. Okay. All right. So it's it's not the the bite report's not triggered by the injury. It's triggered by the. Um, the attack, for want of a better term. It's triggered by the person who shows up at the hospital and says I was bit by a dog. Okay. And, and, it, and you know, the trauma of being bitten by a dog is just as detrimental mm. as the physical contact. Okay. All right. I, I can I can believe that. I'm terrifying. I'm I'm just trying to understand that if the if the case were that the uh, that the that the child was not um, physically injured by the dog's bite would it be possible that there was not a report but from what you say the hospital if, would still they have would, they would, they, would they would still send a report okay if that's they went to the hospital we yes. don't know that they even did mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah that they and if the child weren't they might they may have elected not to okay so there there this may not be we may be looking for something that doesn't exist correct all right Do you guys want to deliberate some and if we see if we can come to co converge on something um, without that information? And if we, if we decide we need more information, we can decide to continue then? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Beth, I think you had a, um, a, uh, a good, a, an astute observation that all of these um, incidents seem to happen on the dog's home turf. Right, so the challenge that I'm having right now is whether the dog should be considered a nuisance dog or a dangerous dog. I think it's certainly one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, I was and, also looking through on these here. It, yeah, and, and I think that the challenge that I have with, I think under I most think circumstances, <laughs> because the dog was on its own property, I would, would have tended to lean towards nuisance dog, except that... Um, given that the person attacked was known to the dog and was coming from an area that the dog should have been like familiar and would have a reason to expect the, mm -hmm. the person to approach from mm -hmm. yeah I, I think that uh, I would say that the and the level of the bite because there's different like grades of dog bite I'm not an expert so I don't I can't honestly tell you like what's what's a one and what's a three or what's a whatever okay would, would but those they, are would they know yeah. You know? No. Yeah. No, but there's there's you know, um the the level of bite is significant, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's, it's, it's more relevant. in one spot. It was in two locations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So typically a dog is decided before it opens its mouth how hard it's, it's going, going to bite, to bite you. you. It doesn't bite right. you with impact without full knowledge of the impact it's going to use. Yeah, cuz they have they they have they typically know exactly most most dogs have some sense of whether they're planning to inflict damage or not. I own six dogs. Mm -hmm. My dogs on occasion sound like they're killing each other. You'll go look at the dog and there's just spit on the other dog, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're they're having a discussion. Their their mouths have been all over <laughs> the other dog. There's 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 not even mm -hmm. nick and and mm -hmm. there's a differentiation of size mm -hmm. between my dogs between 20 pounds and 80 pounds at the two extremes mm -hmm. okay and i can have two dogs sound ferocious mm -hmm. with one another and not have s nothing but spit on the dog mm -hmm. okay so they know what they're doing with their mouths mm -hmm. yeah th these are um, not accidents so um a, a, a bite like that right the, the dog knew what it was going to do mm -hmm. um so uh the ch you know the challenge i have is that like and some of it is just the behavior you know if, if someone's coming in from a side yard that's why i asked the question is and and the dog owner even said mm -hmm. yes that was a typical line of approach for my neighbor and my neighbor came all the time mm -hmm. right so that puts me in a mindset of saying that that dog made a very bad decision and falls into the category of dangerous dog Mm -hmm. I, I generally agree with that, and Brett. No, I agree. Okay, so then the question becomes, what do we do? Okay. If 
you agree that the dog is a dangerous dog, then you are required to de declare it a dangerous dog under the statute. Um, what are the if 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 we were to do that? What are the um, other the required reactions? Your required responses are listed in in um, <coughs> chapter in one fifty in section one fifty seven. Yeah, which you have a copy. So, of. but yeah. we start, I think, with we the motion with, with the, the motion. classification. Highlight, highlighted so, yellow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go ahead and make the motion. I move that based on the following facts adduced at this public hearing, including but not limited to, um, and, and I'm gonna focus actually on um, the the neighbor attack on I believe it was June 2020. I thought it was June 26. Yeah, June 25th of 2022. Yep, June, June 25th of 2022. Mm -hmm. um, that based on that incident, um, specifically, that the dog be um, uh, classified as um, a dangerous dog, right? That the, that the mm -hmm. um, select board of the town of Brookfield find that the dog complained of is a dangerous dog um, uh, due to uh, behaving in a manner that a reasonable person would believe poses an unjustified imminent threat of physical injury or death to a person or, or domestic owned or owned animal okay so I, I think there's a reasonable person could believe that this dog could do an unjustified amount of physical injury to a person Mm -hmm. So, so that's that's my motion. So that being said, you look down on the section of the law that I provided you, and if yes. you look under section C, yes, highlighted in yellow. Thank you. C highlighted in yellow for your easy um, understanding uh, or locating. Those are your options, and right. it goes on to the next page. Yes, you um, must. It says you shall yes. in the law yes. mm -hmm. are these, choose these. Are these options also in that uh, cheat sheet from uh, Copeland and Page? I don't know. I didn't write that one. Okay, it, it looks like they are, but they're, I, will, they're I will I will go from the law. Yeah, just that, to be safe. That, but they that look would similar. Be, they they may be um, verbatim and mm -hmm. more readily spaced and easier to see. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually, they now are, that I'm looking at them, they're they're exactly they are verbatim right out of the law. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's I would have expected. You may choose one or a combination or yeah. of any of these. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think we would we vote first though on the determination of danger. Yes. Okay. So do we? Yeah. Is there a second? Second. I'm All sorry, right. you asked for the second. So. Uh, I found, all right. Is there? A, he, he doesn't need to be asked. He knows to do the second. And so now my question uh, before we vote. I would like to understand um, declaring the animal a dangerous animal empowers us to impose um, any of these conditions on the uh, on the animal and its family. Correct. Okay. Um, and then, do we have do we have any other options, or are there any other? Um, I guess I'll say I want. I guess I want to understand what are the practical implications outside of this de declaration giving us the ability to impose these any of these conditions on the family so is, there, is there anything else is it going i mean so is, in my in my opinion and kelly you can correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. we could take the approach of declaring the dog a nuisance dog but still require some of the requirements typically associated with a dangerous dog because of the level of risk of the dog I, th I think what Tom is asking is, what's your no. enforcement empowerment? Or no, not the enforcement empowerment. It's like I guess I, I'm, I'm trying. Is. I'm trying to understand. It's like, do, does our declaring the, would would our declaring Shadow a dangerous animal um, have any imp? I'm trying to understand what is the impact of this decision on Shadow's family above and beyond any conditions that we choose to impose based on our on such declaration. It's like You're legally. If I have a crystal ball. You usually do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no more, I, legally, I, Kelly, I would say I would say legally, more legally. It's like I, I don't believe that. I I don't want to give any type of legal opinion, opinion, a legal opinion on that mm -hmm. because I can't see beyond what this hearing is. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. 
Okay. You yeah. are, like I said, you are requ if you did deem the dog dangerous, you are required under this law to choose one or more of these options. You don't mm -hmm. have any wiggle room. Mm -hmm. no, the enforcement is within the law, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. if you're going to declare the dog a nuisance, um, you you need to understand the potential for liability if this occurs again. Mm -hmm. If, if I could make a statement, when I'm looking through the definitions, if you look at dangerous dog in part two of that, behaves in a manner that a reasonable person would believe poses an unjustified imminent threat of physical injury or death to a person or to a domestic or owned animal. That was, in, yeah, that was part of that question. <laughs> right. In this case here, in the incident that happened in 2022, I feel that is more aligned than with under nuisance dog i was more looking at three which has threatened or attacked livestock a domestic animal or a person but such threat or attack was not grossly disproportionate reaction under the circumstances and based mm -hmm. on the circumstances of what i heard yeah. i don't think that no, I, that fits I, that description I, I i think dangerous animals right it's just as as the adjudicating authority i Consider it important that I understand the implications of the uh, of the votes I make, and that's why I asked the question. Yeah, and, and so and, yeah, and, and and I'll just be frank with you. My my reason for for even considering nuisance dog is if the dog didn't have a relationship with the person, right. I'm not convinced that would have been disproportionate if somebody unknown if to the dog unknown, yeah. had mm -hmm. wandered onto the property and bit him. Mm -hmm. yeah, then it would have been kind on. of like a that's almost like a buyer beware scenario you walked on the property there was a dog there i hate it for you mm -hmm. uh, but that's not what the situation was here mm -hmm. no I, <coughs> everybody's I, testimony yeah i'm 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 consistent with with you two on that so so I, we have a motion and a second um and i believe uh, after after this vote um we then uh, presuming that it passes we would then determine the um conditions on which Yes. we would uh, uh, impose on the family. Mm -hmm. All right, is there any further discussion? All right, all in favor of declaring Shadow a dangerous animal, say aye. 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 All right. So now, the um, legally, our options are, uh, in short, humanely restrained, confined to the premises, um, when off the premises, shall be leashed and muzzled, um, insurance. So I, I'm sorry. I'm what? sorry. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, there's an insurance requirement um, that the animal be um, microchipped or similar for identification. Um, uh, we can have we can have the dog fixed, and and the last option is that that is open to us is that the animal be euthanized. Uh, th those are the seven options that the law grants to us. And it is up to us to decide which one or multiple of those that we wish to uh, apply to the animal. Um, given that the attacks have, uh, or that the incidents have generally been on the uh, presence, I'm of the opinion that um, a lot could be, a, a lot of benefit could be gained by, um, by restraint. I'm not sure that this is. I, I'm not convinced this is an animal that needs to be euthanized at this point. No. I'm I'm open. I'm open to that, but that's. I'm starting at that point. So I think the question is, what conditions are we going to put on there in order to um, maintain the safety and allow sh and ideally allow Shadow to continue to be part of that family in a way that's safe for the community at large okay. and I think the other thing is is I hate to put it this way number four is off the table because there's not an insurance company in the world that's going to insure a dog that already has a bite history nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. so so you might as well take that one off the table mm -hmm. um, I mean I, I think my primary concern is that we have a dog with a bite history albeit it was on the dog's own property right mm-hmm but that um, is not necessarily currently properly confined, right? So I think that 
at a minimum, my recommendation would be that we order um, the, the first item, that the dog be humanely restrained, though not chained or tethered or otherwise tied to an inanimate object, tree, post, or building, i.e. it should not ever be outside of the home, not on the proper side of the, the fencing around the porch, and not on a leash. That, that it should it should be on some on a run or a leash at all times when outside the house is that yeah. was that what I'm hearing you say yeah that's what you're hearing me say that the dog be humanely restrained right mm-hmm. um, when not indoors um, and that the and I would say probably option one two and three would be the ones that um, I think are in order in this circumstance. Now, two, uh, number two, that the dog be confined to the premises. That that could be satisfied either by um, keeping the dog indoors or by providing a secure enclosure, correct, uh, as specified. Correct. Either either one it, of those two would sat- satisfy requirement number two that the law allows us. That's correct. And so that would mean that either the dog's mm-hmm. indoors, if they're not planning on putting up a fence or a run, then when it's outdoors, then number one applies, that the dog be restrained. Mm-hmm. Humanly restrained. Yeah. yeah, humanely restrained. And actually, unfortunately, mm-hmm. the shock collars don't count as humanely restrained. I think they've actually been outlawed in most states, and you can't hardly buy them anymore. So. You can only tell them for 15 minutes at a time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, it is, it, so they need okay. to be on a leash or in a run. Okay. Yeah. Even on the property. It Even on the property. On or, 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 or in a yeah. run. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And, and then the, and the, and the, and the, set, and the right. setup of the run would have to be such that the animal is not <coughs> physically capable of leaving the property. It has to match property. exactly what this says. It right. has to have a roof. No, no, the run. To. I'm talking about the run. No, it you can't, can't, it can't you, put them on a run. Right. It has to be in an enclosure. A run is being tied to an inanimate object. Object. Okay. So it can't be on a dog run. Yeah. Yeah, but not chain tethered or otherwise tied to tied an, an object. object. So, so basically, number t- number one would let them be on a run. Number two precludes that. No, no, no. 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 Number number one, number one means that them. number one yeah. means that when the dog is on the property. Yeah. For you, you can't. Your own dog on a run. Yeah, yeah. 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 For they're and not for legal for. In Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, they're not. They yeah. Can only tether them. It has to hang. From a tree to a tree or something, it can only be 15 minutes at a time. They have to be supervised. And they have to be supervised the whole time. Yeah, so you might as well. Oh, really? So you you might as well just. I don't have a dog. And so you might as well just spend $30, get a long line, and go stand out back and hold on to the dog while they're out Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And hope they don't get a good running start. 20 20 foot tracking lead. Mm -hmm. 25 bucks. Yep. 15 if you find it used. But this has to be a specific tensile strength, so it's not going to get that on a tracking lead. That's true. So, mm-hmm. uh, well, that's for when removed from the premises of the mm-hmm. owner, though. So. And that can only be six feet. So, right. yeah. Or what is it? Three feet, right? Yep. Three feet. Yeah, not exceeding three feet in like 300 pounds. So, on the property, the dog could be on a long line. Right. It, but and but it number has three. To be held by it has to be held by Yes, it has, it has to be hu- a human attendant on the other yes. end of the line. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then for number three, if the uh, animal is brought off the uh, premises, we could record. Uh, there's a, uh, it has to be a short, a six foot leash. Three, 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 oh, three foot, foot strong, cert, certain tensile strength, and um, mm-hmm. is the muzzle an option, or is it is the muzzle part of the package deal on number three? Is um, it leash or muzzle, or is it leash and muzzle? Let me see. It's not <coughs> and muzzle and restrain okay. with a chain or a tether having a minimum tensile okay. strength of 300 pounds. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not yep. exceeding three, so it's and, not four. Okay, that's... So, I'm, I don't have a... Dog has to be go from the house to a kennel... Mm-hmm. on a leash or on a leash outside the whole time no more opening the door let the dog do its business and then mm-hmm. um, and then if it's off the property based on these three requirements it has to be on a three foot 300 pound tensile strength lead with a muzzle if mm-hmm. you pick those three options okay we have one minute left on our video I've been signaled so All right then that's my motion yeah. is, one, two, so, so you motion one two my, and three my motion is that that um our remedy should be one two and three second all right um is there any any further discussion i think these are these these are reasonable given the uh the history of the dog 
All right, seeing as there's none, um, all in favor of imposing uh, requirements um, 1, 2, and 3 from section 157. Um, chapter 140, chapter one. section 157. Uh, from, the, from wherever Kelly said, <laughs> the, items number 1, 2, and 3. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 All right. Um, do we need to vote a time frame on this? Because my thought is that, or is there immediate? Okay. It's immediate. Right. Or is it it's immediate? It's, it's immediate, yeah. Okay. Then, all right. 